Hey, Sean Peeps, how's it going? Henry here. Uh, I wanted to go over this case. This is a case they ordered for intussusception. The patient uh, had abdominal distension, and he also had a gastrojejunostomy tube. So they were looking for intussusception around the tube. So we begin to examine the epigastric region, and here's the left lobe of the liver. Not very good image, but already from the get-go, you can see echogenicities here. All right, there you can see some more. So I already kind of knew where this was going from here, even though this was not the indication for the exam. I, I already knew what, what was coming. Uh, right upper quadrant, you see the gallbladder there and the liver. All right, and then you can see some more echogenesis here within the liver. So here's your right hepatic vein, gallbladder, and then there's these hyperchoic densities there. You can see it has kind of like a, a branching pattern. All right, these are pictures of the GJ tube. So here's the bulb of the tube there. There was no intussusception there, so took a couple of pictures there, moved on. Then I went back to the right side to start evaluating the bowel to uh, prove what I already thought was, was present. So here you got some comet tail artifacts there, and this is a gastric wall here. Here's a longitudinal panoramic view showing the bladder, some relatively anechoic free fluid, and more egogenic free fluid here. And you got bowel, distended bowel with echogenicities within the bowel wall. Here's some more pictures of the, of the liver. Here's a clip of the bowel within the right lower quadrant with echogenicities all within the bowel wall. This is air. So here's the liver. And you see right there, you see these little air bubbles going through the portal, portal veins. That's portal venous gas. This is a result of pneumatosis intestinalis which is gas within the bowel wall and is often first identified on abdominal radiographs or computed tomography. It is a radiological finding not, and not a diagnosis. Pneumatosis intestinalis is considered an ominous finding in ischemia, especially in association with portal mesenteric venous gas. Now in regards to ultrasound, we usually see pneumatosis intestinalis in neonates or premature infants that are suffering from necrotizing enterocolitis. This patient was not a neonate or a premature infant. They were an older baby. Uh, they had recently had surgery and they had the GJ tube. They ended up having uh, an adhesion that was causing obstruction of the intestine, which caused necrosis. The patient had to have about 20 centimeters of the jejunum removed. On ultrasound, pneumatosis intestinalis is gonna appear as echogenic dots or lines within the bowel wall. The bowel wall is usually thickened and edematous. The detection of subserosal air can be a little difficult in the presence of concurrent intraluminal air. All right, hope you found this one useful. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.